We're going to start with the nation, NBA. Judges conduct in Kano a disgrace, says the Nigerian Bar Association. Nigeria, we, we hail the returns as national anthem. Free ride on Abuja Metro line for six months, says Tinumbu. Samwalu deploys 15 high-capacity passenger ferries on waterways. Government labor OPS that's organized private sector, resume new minimum wage negotiation. Okay, let me start with Lagos State. Okay. We want to start with your NBA view. Yeah, please go ahead, you have the floor. The NBA president, Bayako Maekiao, at the harshest was to describe the conduct of the Kano State High Court as well as the Federal High Court that granted, you know, concurrent uh, judge, uh, judgments to, in the light of the Kano EMEA issues. And he says, um, let me quickly read what he said here. He said, for a country whose legal resources and expertise have for several decades been exported positively and impacted not only the African continent, but the world at large, it is completely unacceptable that the processes of our courts will be deployed in the manner we have witnessed in the last couple of days on a subject matter that is as clear as a chieftaincy dispute. He says the conduct of the councils as the lawyers that are involved in handling the processes themselves are a disgrace and they expose the entire legal profession of Nigeria to public ridicule and opprobrium. I, I need to check that one. <laughs> and he's, um, he's very embarrassed at the conduct, but the CJN has summoned the chief judges, the chief judge of Kano State, as well as the chief judge of the Federal High Court to his mm -hmm. chambers today. To discuss they were trying to rebuild yes. the, the integrity of the, of the judiciary. judiciary. Yeah. They were trying to market. That's why I keep saying this renewed hope. It's not everybody that understands renewed hope. Mm -hmm. They don't understand it. Yeah, nobody's renewing. It's, not, it's only one person that's screaming renewed hope because mm -hmm. I don't get it. But let's just move on. I want to see the outcome before I say what <laughs> Let yeah, us say uh, Lagos State government. Okay. No, Lagos State governor mm -hmm. has uh, inaugurated 15 new ferries to boost water transportation on the uh, waterways in his fifth year in office, Sonwe Lu, who launched the boat at the Badore Jetty in Aja, described the ferries as another demonstration uh, of government's commitment to transportation and traffic management, which in his pillar, the themes pillar that many of us know, um, he says that the 40-seater boats called Om Omibus are products of the partnership with the Lagos State government and the Las Laswa, that's the water in uh, Lagos State, Water with Authority and Cavatin Marine, a subsidiary of Cavatin um, Aviation. They're locally produced, mm -hmm. interestingly, except for the outboard engines. The boats joined um, earlier 22, making a total of 37. So they are made in Nigeria. It's just the engines that were imported, but everything else mm -hmm. is Nigeria made. Fantastic. Congratulations mm -hmm. to the government, and I hope that Nigeria is yeah. going to do Have a story, Dr. Otolu? Oh, you have a story? Something to say. In, no, no, in, in nation? Okay, oh, no, no, she didn't get to read the papers. Okay, so um, I have the um, story on the Abuja Rail Mass Transit. Um, as all we all know that um, the, rain, the train just came into um, Abuja. And um, the president went and inaugurated it with him and the FCT minister, um, Yesom Wike. And um, they all, when they, they all rode in the plane as well, in the train, down to, um, I think, the airport area and all. And the, um, the, the FCT minister said that, okay, that's everybody, they're going to have this free ride for three months, for two months before he proposed. Then the um, president now said, please, dear landlord, that is talking to Yeke Wissom and saying that, dear landlord, please, can we extend, extend it for the next six months so people can ride free from wherever they are going to in the train? And so he, he agreed, and so now the train is there for, for us to ride freely and enjoy free ride. Mm -hmm. so we want to thank the government for this, at least. Okay, what's So, um, EFCC, the executive chairman of EFCC, um, that's the Economic, fin Economic and Financial Crimes Commission, Mr. Ola Ulukuye, is giving account of what has happened between May 29 last year and May 29 this year. Gave us a huge number, because people don't know. They say EFCC is working, EFCC is working on. They have secured 3,175 convictions and they have recovered 156 billion naira in just one year. Said that he regrets that there's a lot of, that a lot of young people are involved in financial fraud, in internet fraud, and the development poses major worry to the EFCC because they have zero tolerance. They, they have a, 
um, which is why they launched the club, Zero Tolerance Club, at the University of Abuja. And he said, um, he's speaking through his secretary, Mohammed um, Ahmad Joda, that the EFC chairman is seriously against um, post or recovering a lot of the foreign currencies from suspects. Then they made a list of all the foreign, sus uh, foreign currencies they've been able to recover, including cryptocurrency as well. But that many people are not acknowledging it. He's still worried that even though they've done a lot, there's still a lot more to be done. That a lot of young people are involved in this cyber crime and they hope to clamp down on them. Um, at least this is good. They've recovered money, mm -hmm. they've convicted people. I know we're looking for high profile, but at least let, let's acknowledge the one that. Okay. Done, right? uh, the point, very quickly. Uh, first anniversary, FG plans supplementary budget once against foreign aid. 50,000 naira grant. Over 402,000 beneficiaries get 20 billion naira. Emirates Tussle, CJ and Summons judges over conflicting orders as Kano bans protest. Okay, let's see if we can take one before we go on the break. Yes, yeah. Major headline. The president yesterday um, was before the House and he, he said, mentioned that they will be coming very soon with a supplementary budget. He so said, charting a new path is a question of program for development. I submitted the 2024 budget to you and you expeditiously passed it. We are walking the talk, and I will soon bring the 2024 supplementary appropriation bill. Building this nation so that our future of our grandchildren, the future of our grandchildren will be filled with prosperity, development, and progress. He says, uh, he commended the House. This was after, of course, you know, he had signed the term into law, uh, and he commended the um, House of us, um, the lawmakers, you know, for doing their part. He said, the question of a, a, a foreign aid is not is not something we should even explore. That no foreign aid can give Nigerians the country that they can be proud of. I totally agree. I think we should stop on that and plan within our resources. <coughs> but then we are going to be they are going to be working on a supplementary budget, and I hope that this improves the economy at the end of the day. Mm -hmm. Okay. So before we go on a break, uh, there was a story we took last week, which I thought the federal government should have had no business getting involved, but the federal government has. They've sent in delegates to meet the UK universities to avert students' deportation. So the federal government stepped in to address the recent deportation orders uh, issued against some Nigerian students at the Teesside University in the United Kingdom. Um, a delegation led by the representative of the Nigerian Embassy in the UK, Ambassador Christian Okeke, along with uh, leaders of the Nigerian Students' Union, went to see the management of the um, Teesside University. Um, they, they're trying to see how they can find some kind of resolution to um, avert the deportation of these students. If you could recall, we said, we took the story last week, where they were, they are, some of them had paid 90, 90%, others have paid 75%, and the school is saying, because they can't meet the deadline for the, the balance, they will have to be deported. And oh they were trying to fight and beg for, their, for them not to be deported or handed over to the government for deportation. And the, 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 the news made the papers, we took it, we took it and um, many thought that our federal government should get involved and see yeah. what they can do. I thought it was personal. It uh, was well, personal. Yeah, but personal, hey, exactly. the federal government has sent in a delegation to help. No, so they, they can, can negotiate. negotiate, help because them negotiate. For the value of their fees yeah, went the up with the dollar rise. Yeah. So it's something that government can it see. To come in. It's an unexpected hardship. Let's go, yeah. in, let's go in a short break. When we come back, we continue with that review. Stay with us. We'll be right back. Stay tuned. Your view will be right back. 